Yeah, I'm my Tumi. No! <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a Matumi. Just taking a young shower. Continue watching to learn why I'm starting here. They'll benefit you. No taking a cold shower, it is one of the things I've learned to implement in my routine. And it is much more beneficial to take a cold shower than a warm shower. You know how even normally in your day, you take a warm shower maybe at the end of the day, maybe you saying you want to refresh and stuff like that. But then you feel relaxed thereafter and because you wanted to study after the shower, you feel relaxed and then you become lazy and then before you know it, you're sleeping right and one of the tricks to fix that it is taking a cold shower so for me personally I have a friend who also introduced me to this and I actually see it actually works but he's more extreme even during winter he does it um, but I do it from time to especially winter uh, when I want to punish myself if that day I didn't do what I needed to do right but you get used to it I normally take cold showers during your hot days of spring and summer but what are the benefits of taking a cold shower as a student? Well, there's a couple of them. And I advise you guys to also find a way to implement this routine into your uh, showering practice, basically. Well, let me look it up. So you can find more of this information on uh, www.wimhofmethod.com. And that is where they drop some nice tips and and of different parts of uh, whatever they do but I found these cool tips and I saw they work that's why I'm reading them to you guys I'm showing you guys because I applied it and I relate to these things it says taking cold shower reduces stress levels and I've seen this you know whenever I feel super stressed I normally do two things I go to the gym that's why I release um, a lot of frustration a lot of stress when I come back I feel a bit fresh but then from there Taking a cold shower even after the gym refreshes even my mind. So you feel a bit of less stress and it's not as intense as it was before you actually went to the gym and actually took a shower. And one of the key things if you check sports people, they take uh, ice baths or cold showers after a, a game. So because it helps even with muscle recovery, right? And, and helps with blood flow. So um, the problem with hot shower or warm showers is it increases your blood circulation right and therefore if there's a part that is sore it becomes even more sore right but with cold shower it, it, it decreases soreness so the first thing is reduces um, stress levels and I've seen this work after that cold shower you'll feel a bit better and then you're able to continue your day much better um, it gives more robust immune system so scientifically they say um, taking cold shower increases the flow of your white body cells and that is how your immune system as well um, it responds better to any sicknesses or anything that's attacking your body increased willpower to take a, a cold shower my god it takes something special it took me a while to get used to it but over time you get used to it and it becomes part of a habit and you don't even have to think twice and think about it with a struggling ESCOM taking a cold shower is saving South Africa a whole world of electricity and uh, they're saying also it contributes to weight loss they say research has shown that cold showers right in addition to increasing metabolic rate directly so cold showers increase metabolic rates directly it also stimulates the generation of brown fat brown fat is a specific type of fat tissue that in turn generates energy by burning calories cold showers then are an effective tool for people who are looking to lose a few pounds what what and you've been punishing yourself the whole time at gym and nothing is happening one of the things that can help you is actually to to take cold showers. So sometimes even in our course, um, we'd ride from 8 until 4. So we'd ride from 8 till 11, 12 and have a one hour break in between and then go start at around 1 o'clock. One of the things I used to do between those tests, I'd go back to my place, take a cold shower and I'd feel a bit fresher for the next session because the first session takes a lot out of you and then if you just go straight into the second session, especially after eating and you have a heavy stomach, then the second session becomes super difficult for you. So these are one of the things I personally applied and I'd advise you guys to also do. Take cold showers. 
especially when you're feeling stressed you feel um especially when it's hot as well don't take warm showers take cold showers it'll help you in calming you down it'll help you in feeling less stress because that's how it is subscribe like and share sharp sharp <laughs>